Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So sweeties, it's Wednesday, that means it is of course new makeup releases day and today we are of course talking about a lot, a lot of things. I'm also going to update you on a few things that we've spoken about before where we just had sneak peeks and now we see the full reveal and things like this. So I hope you're up to spending some girly time with me, makeup time or whatever, whatever you want to call it because not everybody is a girl here in my audience as I know now. <laughs> okay, sweeties, so that is it. And I'm still going to call everybody sweeties. I actually got a comment the other day, which was so, so cute. Uh, someone th thinking that me calling everybody sweeties is so sweet. And you know what? It's just what it is. So <laughs> that's what it is. All right. So of course, the original creator of this whole show is Samantha March. And as always, she's going to be linked in the description box, as are all the brands that I'm talking about and my makeup you will find in a pinned comment in the comment section. I may also, I have to tell you, because I just started to work with this palette, which is the Purple Haze palette from Cara Beauty. This is my first day that I'm working with Cara Beauty and it's cute. All right, sweeties, so that is it. Um, I think we're gonna go right in because it really is gonna be a lot. So I hope you have some, I don't know, something to do. Iron, iron some shirts or something while you're listening to me. <laughs> or just enjoy yourself and, and just have a snack and whatever. Okay, so let's just spend this time together while I'm blabbering on and you can do whatever you want. Okay, we're starting with Eyler London and they're coming out with uh, these colorful lashes. Now, I even got a comment, I think that was on my social media just lately, saying, wow, well, this look would be so, so much cooler if you would have colorful lashes. I cannot agree more. I would love, love, love to try colorful lashes. This is super intriguing. And this is the limited edition for festival, festival lashes. Now, I don't know how many festivals are actually going to happen this summer, but anyway, so this is a limited edition it's a uh, purple blue green and an orangey kind of a thing so i think this is really really nice i would love to have this i really do they're retailing for um eight dollars eight dollars each and i think this is amazing okay the next thing is from bh cosmetics and maybe you know that bh cosmetics and i have sort of been on a break for like one and a half years or so not because i'm upset at them it's just because nothing drew me in now they are coming out with this this is their latest collection it's called weekend wipes and uh, this is really really cute you know I really especially the one with the green I could see myself absolutely having this so this is apparently I think this is an avocado palette the, the green one now I don't know how, how many times one can beat that horse <laughs> with the avocados i myself have also an avocado palette already you know uh, of course there's not a new concept behind this but does it have to be no but eh, you know whatever it doesn't matter so anyway so there's the avo avocado toast shadow palette which i just showed you then there is also the mimosa shadow palette and there are also uh, two blush palettes which look really nice one is a little bit more rosy which i would prefer the other one is a little bit more beige uh, neutral which is also cute it's maybe just not for me and then there are lipstick lipsticks or glosses glosses so glosses are not really for me but anyway the blush palette and the eyeshadow palette are actually not bad. Of course, the other one, the other eyeshadow palette with the pink and orange and yellow, um, you know, I'm just not too much into those colors, even though I'm working with this right now. It's just that I'm so leaning towards the green. I just feel like I need the greens in my life right now. You know, really, I do. So anyway, but overall, I think this is a very cute release. And, uh, you know, I'm just so glad for PH Cosmetics that they're coming back with something that is actually nice. And, um, you know, that, that that's all I have to say to this. Ooh. Okay, so the next thing is <laughs> actually had me smiling. So this is Oma's Cosmetics. Now I guess that Oma is a name. <laughs> I don't know but listen I'm coming from a German background and in a lot of ways I still think German so when I see Omas which means grandmothers in German <laughs> which basically means this is the cosmetics of grandmoms that is funny isn't it so Omas cosmetics <laughs> is coming soon there they're sneak peeking i guess their first release and this is going to be this eyeshadow palette according to the swatches it looks like a 
orangey yellowy neutral kind of a palette with a pop of blue have nothing against that you know is it like super revolutionary maybe not but you know there is nothing wrong with this let's not forget that this is all about creativity of a person who is behind the brand and who am i to judge you know i love creativity and i love it when people don't judge me for being all the way out or not you know so i'm not going to judge this is this good is this bad is this needed or not because obviously there's always a market for everything so this is coming Oma's cosmetics this is hilarious for me but yeah okay so the next thing was actually quite a surprise for me so this is a uh, two palettes releasing from Yves Saint Laurent which is YSL Beauty and this this is a surprise for a high-end brand to come out with colorful palettes like this I mean I don't know it, it still doesn't speak so much to me but I have to say that I'm actually really really proud of them you know to go that extra mile and to just step out sort of in the unknown I don't know honestly how much they have done in colorful uh, things now I know for example Viseart does I mean they do a lot of neutral or, or classy palettes too but they also have the option for going towards color and now YSL Beauty is doing that too and I really think that that is a nice a nice thing to offer that now this is probably um, going to be way out of my price range anyway and I have so much uh, makeup that is coming my way and that I want to try so this is not going to be for me um, it's just maybe also not you know I'm not the high-end girl so this is not going to be for me but I just still want to say that this is cute you know it's cute and I applaud them for doing it the way they do you know it's, it's really really nice then there is something that I'm super super excited about and that is from kimchi so sweeties this is color correctors color correctors have you seen my makeup routine when I'm putting on my foundation I do some serious color correcting every single day now for everybody who's new I have melasma ever since I had my kids I have melasma left, left over that with the last pregnancies just didn't go away anymore after the pregnancies so it's basically like a um, hyperpigmentation that is still left and I have rings here and I have some spots that I'm uh, color correcting and also here above the lip so I'm doing that every single day there is a reason why my foundation looks flawless you know that 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 sounds so horrible when I say that about myself but I I'm a professional and I know what I'm doing so I do color correcting before I put on my foundation because for me in my case concealer is just not enough so anyway and that is why I'm so excited about color correcting mm, this looks so so good and I would love to try this I would like like to have the purple I would like to have the green and I I would like to have that light orange please <laughs> this could be so so cool yeah okay so they retail for $14 each and I'm super excited about this I might get something like that I need those three colors all the other colors I'm, I might not need so much but for my discoloration for the purpose that I need it I need those three colors and um, yeah really seriously eyeing this okay we are moving on to Fenty so Fenty is coming out with the lip shine uh, lip sheer shiny lipsticks or something like that <laughs> so this is how it looks the colors look actually really really nice I think it again is not super revolutionary but still I think they are super wearable colors there are also a few brighter ones I think it's a very very smart release this is not for me it's uh, shiny yes but sheer no I you know that's just a waste of time for me I need to also correct my lips because I have a small upper lip and I'm sort of having to balance it out and with like sheer uh, lip products it just doesn't make much sense you know because it's got to look professional and with sheer lip products you cannot really do that really you know so anyway th this is what it is I like the release it's just not personally for me there are going to be 10 shades do I have a price uh, no but this is releasing on June 5th if you are interested. The next thing is of course everything, everybody, <laughs> everybody is talking about this. This is Kaleidos Makeup. This is the new release, the Escape Collection. Um, I know that a lot of my fellow YouTubers have this in PR already or on the way and I'm so happy for them because I would love to try this. I would love to try this. I'm not going to be able to order this but I would absolutely love to try this now the only thing that I have from Kaleidos makeup are those last um, two 
palettes that they came out with, the six pan palettes, and the six pan palettes is just not my piece of cake, you know? This palette here would be absolutely, that would be much, much better, like my makeup style and much more variety for Leora, and that would be great. <laughs> but anyway, so this is what it is, and they're also coming out with an eyeshadow primer, which is also a super exciting thing because I'm absolutely into eyeshadow primers, trying them out, comparing them. I've not do done so much really on my channel talking about it because it takes me about like three, four months to get through one, but I have gathered some experience already now, um, Ever since I started YouTube, I've been using eyeshadow primers, and I'm I'm so like I I'm so interested in seeing how the makeup game changes depending on which eyeshadow primer you use. So of course that is also also always a very very um, personal thing because everybody experiences also everything personally. You have a different uh, skin and whatever you know. There are so many things that that influence the performance. But anyway totally off the topic now uh yeah so i <laughs> I just I'm super excited about the eyeshadow primer would love to try that too and then there are going to be four highlighters I think four highlighters a lucid lip gloss and makeup sponges now makeup sponges I'm not too too crazy about I mean I'm using them but I wouldn't go ahead like and purchase them for an insane amount of money but um if they are included in the bundle I would love to try it. So anyway, that is Kaleidos Makeup and this is coming soon. In June, I think this is going to be released and of course the PR packages have been sent out. So I haven't gotten mine. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, just kidding. So that that is that Kaleidos Makeup. Super, super happy they're coming out with a new release and it looks really, really nice. Okay, the next thing is uh, from MBA Cosmetics and they're coming out with a new eyeshadow collection which is Neons and this is how it looks. And I think actually this is really, really pretty. Uh, you know, as far as Neons go, this is where they go. You know, there is not an unlimited way of doing things with Neons. Um, but I think this is cute, you know? For an eight, um, eight shadow bundle, I think this is really, really well executed. I especially love the purple and the green and the blue, of course, because I just lean so towards those colors these days. Yeah. I think it's really, really pretty. So this is MBA Cosmetics. Then we have something new to talk about, and this is a baby girl company. I think that's what it's called. It's a new brand for me. And she, I guess, is coming out with her first product and that is this palette. So this is the, the Nude Cherry Palette. <laughs> And you know what? The name is actually super, super fitting because, you know, also the outer packaging is really, really cute. The the whole, how, how she did that. And also the inside sort of fits it completely. You know, you have these cherry reds and, and pinks, and then you have also a couple of nudes and also like rosy nudes and also like a neutral nude. <laughs> Anyway, I think this is really, really pretty. It looks like there's going to be uh, pressed litters, I think three pressed litters in the palette, which I don't care. Like, I don't mind that at all. I'm wearing a pressed, pressed, uh, it's a blessed glitter, definitely. <laughs> I'm wearing a pressed glitter today too, and I love it. You know, I have absolutely no, no problem with that. So this is launching on June 15th, and I think it's cute, you know? It's cute. Okay, sweeties, the next thing I want to talk with you about is from the LBBC, I think. This is always so hard for me. I cannot figure out what the real name is. L&B Beauty and Cosmetics. This is what the name is. I'm so sorry. And they are coming out with a palette and this is going to be called the summer of 2020. And here we have a sneak peek. Now we are going to have two, four, six, I think it's seven shades that they have revealed already. I think. And uh, this is going to be a big palette, which is Leora style. It's going to be colorful, which is Leora style. So this looks actually really, really nice. I'm super excited. If I have a new picture with like more shades released by the time I finish editing, um, then I'm still going to include this. As of right now, I only have those shades. But this has the potential of looking really, really nice. You know, it looks like it's going to be have everything. So and I love to have everything because why shouldn't I have everything, right? So that is that. Then we're moving on to um, Ava Lux, I think. I, this is also something that I never know how to exactly pronounce it. Avac, 
Avac Lux. I, I hope I'm not butchering this name. So anyway, um, she is coming out with uh, this palette, which is also, you know, it is really cute. It's sort of half neutral and half colorful. And then the colors are greens and blues and the purple, you know, th this totally vibes with me. And the upper two rows are basically cold neutrals and like rosy neutrals, the, what I call them, rosy neutrals. So I think this is really, really pretty. This is the Clueless eyeshadow palette. Palette, and this is going to be available on June 12th. So yeah, this is cute. I like it. It's a little bit more leaning towards, I think, pastel a little bit. You know, it's not like super, super bright and, and stuff, but I, I kind of really, really like this. So yeah, so that is from AVAC Lux. I hope, I hope. So anyway, the next thing is from Doll Hospital Cosmetics. And I have actually filmed a video, which you're probably going to see later. You haven't seen that yet. About Doll Hospital Cosmetics, um, or where I'm mentioning them, or basing what I'm saying on what they're posting, whatever. You will see that coming up. It's going to be a lifestyle video. So, um, and she is coming out with this palette now. Now, because I am following Doll Hospital Cosmetics on social media, and I'm a big fan. I'm a big, big fan. I have not tried anything of the makeup products, but I'm a big fan of what they're posting or what she's posting about mental health, you know? So that's why I'm following her and that's also what the other video is gonna be about. So make sure not to miss it. Um, so she's coming out with this palette and I went immediately when I saw this, I went online and I wanted to order it because I want to support her. Not that this is necessarily the color scheme that I'm going to wear day in, day in and day out, but I would wear it definitely I would wear it and I would, would make a review on it <laughs> if I can get my speech back but um, it didn't let me order it so there was a problem with that and I was I was sad about it because I would have really really liked to support her I think that she's doing an amazing job raising awareness about mental health and if you know here you don't know that I'm also suffering a little bit <laughs> from issues with issues or whatever um, so I'm all for that and I really really want to support her so yeah, but that is the palette. It's called Comfort Zone. It's retailing for $24. There is also a discount code where you can get 20% off. So I think this is a super wearable palette and it goes, um, there is, I think 20%. Do a portion, I don't know, a portion of the proceeds will go to the National Alliance on Mental Health New York. So that is also such a good cause, you know, so I really, really wanted to to do this and and to support this but um that that was not so successful i'm still going to try maybe i'm going to message her on instagram or something but anyway um this 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 is a nice looking palette it's called neutrals you know that is what i still would want to wear you know so yeah anyway that is doll hospital cosmetics the next thing is from omfg cosmetics and they are coming out with the sugar and sweets collection so this is here the whole the whole collection where you have a palette I'm going to show you the inside in a second which is retailing for $45 that's quite a price for a palette, but okay, $45. Then there's going to be a um, eye brush set for $20. There's going to be a highlighter for $20, um, two highlighters, I think. Then there are going to be sprinkle lashes sprinkle lashes. Uh, for $10, there is going to be a glitter check for $18, glitter, ad glitter <laughs> adhesive for $8, and the ice cream truck keychain. <laughs> there is an ice cream, cream truck keychain for $4. Okay, so anyway... <laughs> So let's talk about the palette because that is really what is, I think, the most interesting to talk about. So let's pull up the palette, which looks like this. So that is, of course, a pastel -y palette. Um, I think it is cute. Um, this is not necessarily for me because, as you know, I'm not too much into pastels. And um, actually, my next pastel palette review is going to come up very soon. That's going to be the Tokyo palette from Nomad Cosmetics. But I do feel that the Tokyo palette is, compared to this, a little bit more more bright maybe besides that purple that is here in this palette um, I think it is an okay palette it's well executed and everything it's not going to be for me but um, it's cute it has seven mattes six shimmers and one duochrome which is really really nice yeah so and you can also of course remove the shadows and because you know or refill them and you can use the palette again which is also really really nice so this is releasing today when I'm filming this so this is already live when you're seeing this 
The next thing is a new release coming from Homegirls Beauty Shop and this is uh, this blush and highlighter contour palette. Now unfortunately this is in a shade so I don't know how real those colors are. I mean they're holding it sort of close to the window but you know it's it's not the, the real lighting I don't believe but it looks nice the way it looks now but you have to sort of take it with a grain of salt because there might be a difference when we actually get the real you know picture so this is coming up soon I don't have a time like I don't have a release date yet or anything but if you're looking for something like this I think uh, this is cute I personally do not really I like blush palettes yes I do like highlighter palettes I just don't like it necessarily when there is contour and bronzer in that same palette because I always feel that that is such a such a personal thing that is way more personal than blushes blushes you can sort of wing it. you know highlighters you can sort of wing it but um, you know the contour shade and the bronzer shade I believe they they just have to be right for you you know so anyway but this is coming it's not a bad release I'm not saying that at all it's just not personally for me then the next thing that absolutely blew me over we spoke about the anniversary palette from Erica's Vanity last time last time I only could show you the empty palette with the shade names and now we actually see the whole palette so this is how she looks and I think this is super super pretty. This is gorgeous. I like this. This is retailing. I don't know what it retails for but it's releasing on June 12th and I think this is awesome. I like it. Oh my goodness. Look at the middle row. Look at the top row. Look at the lowest row. <laughs> this is a very beautiful palette. Uh, really Erica well done really well done congratulations on your uh, 30th I think the big 30 right it's scary but yeah you we, we're all surviving it don't worry <laughs> okay so the next thing is the savage eyeshadow palette from Makari cosmetics and I believe that that was also one of the sneak peeks that I showed you either last week or the week before where I just showed you an empty palette so this is how it looks now it's a very very bright palette including a black and a white and of course super colorful other shades um yeah this is retailing for 30 dollars and this is already available if you're interested it's a very colorful palette i don't know what makes this this the savage palette i don't know but anyway it is it's cute I, I it's hard to see if what is mattes and what is shimmers or if this is this is definitely not all mattes there are shimmers in it it's just a little bit hard for me to see right now how many there are and which ones they are but maybe you can also check it out on the website the next thing I have a bit mixed feelings about and that is I'm on the one hand I'm super super happy for them because a killer Queens cosmetics is coming out with their first big palette and that is well for me it's not big it's 12 shades but for other people it's big I, I you know I realize that so that is nice and it is actually this is going to launch in October so this is still a long time in the future who knows what is going to be in October life life in the world but anyway this is supposed to be launching on o October 15th and that is kind of crazy to like sneak peek it already now but that's what they're doing uh, that is fine um now the theme of the palette and uh, I just this is not for me this is not part of my life this is it freaks me out personally and I'm not going to go there but I want to just show you because this is my job here to tell you about what is going to be available and what is already available. So this is, and I don't even know how to pronounce this, I think it's called Ogea Board a Palette. Okay, so this is how it looks and here we see of course the empty palette um, with the shade names and then the outer packaging. There's going to be a mirror in the palette. Besides that, I don't know anything. Again, I'm not going to buy this just because it is what it is. The palette can look as stunning as you know whatever I'm I will not be able to buy this because I cannot make myself go there not even for makeup you know but because for me it's scary and for me I believe that this is a very dangerous thing and one shouldn't I'm not going to go there okay but it is out there it's going to come in October I'm happy for them as a brand that they're coming out with their first big palette and you know may they have all the success with it and I'm sure it's going to be beautiful it's just not going to be for me but I wanted to of course tell you about it then another new brand is going to be Queen Stash Cosmetics and they're coming out with the Kush Princessa Princessa 
I think. Uh, wheat shaped eyeshadow palette, <laughs> sweeties. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so of course this is wheat themed. Um, I'm also not a fan of that, even though I know that this is wheat themed too, and this is also not part of my life, you know? This is a palette that is uh, leaf shaped, <laughs> so this is already not, not for me, just, just because of that. The colors in it look cute. It's going to have uh, six shades, which is going to be six mattes and six shimmers, which is nice, no pressed glitters. Uh, the, the colors look nice, it's just that I'm never going to buy something like this. It's just not for me. Weird packaging just <laughs> freaks me out. So anyway, uh, that is that. It's coming soon and yeah, and it's going to be um, available individually or as part of the Kush Princessa bundle, which is I guess a makeup bag. So anyway, so that is that a new brand. Then there is also, I think this is also a new brand, YS Lashes. Is this, I think this is a new brand for me too. So they are releasing, or she's releasing, I don't know, a palette which looks like this. Now this is cute, sweeties. This is absolutely cute. Um, rosy, rosy tones. It reminds me super, super much of the Rose Metal palette from Lois Cosmetics. Um, even though I do believe that the one from Lois Cosmetics leaned a little bit more, a little bit more dark than this one. But yeah, I think this is cute. This could create super, super nice, uh, lovely, romantic looks if you were into that and I know that I would be you know if I had that palette I think I think people would love me more <laughs> you know? yeah so this is retailing for $28 and this is already now available um, I think it's cute just so you know okay moving on to spoiled lips cosmetics and they're coming out with this palette now I think this palette here um, is this the dear diary palette I think I think that's what it's called. So this palette is now par um, part of the the palette club. I think so. People who are in that club are getting that palette. But later on, this will be become available for the general public. The way I understand the post. So I hope that I'm not saying something wrong here. If you're interested in picking up this palette later on, if you're not in that club, so um, this is going to retail. I guess if you're not in the palette club um, for $30 and uh, this is how it looks. Also this is a little bit more muted, a little bit more pastel-y leaning which I guess is cute you know so yeah so that's uh, what it is. The next thing is a, a sneak peek from Mamacita Cosmetics and they are working I guess on a palette which looks like this so I only have the outer packaging as of right now again if I find something you know while I'm editing then I'm still going to include it um, but this is or Orgulosa. I have no idea what that is, but anyway, the outer packaging rocks. I think it's really, really pretty and that's what it is. So this is dropping in June or July. Not 100% sure yet, but it's coming soon and of course I'm going to let you know. The next thing is again another new brand and this is the Beirut Cosmetics uh, palette or new release. So this is how she looks and this is the low and slow palette. <laughs> Nine pen palette, really, really cute. I really like this, you know? Even though it's a red and orange and yellow in it, which I'm not super, super vibing with, but together with those rosy tones, it's just super brilliant. I really, really like this. It looks there's like there's gonna be two pressed glitters in the bottom row there. It's retailing for $20 and it's now available and I think it is pretty. And I'm so glad I found a new brand, you know? I, I'm thrilled about this. So I think this is a nine, nine pan eyeshadow palette that actually really, really looks stunning, you know? I like it. Yeah. Okay. That was what was called Beirut's, Beirut's Cosmetics. Okay. The next thing, sweeties, this is, <laughs> this is so cute. Okay. Lucky Bunny Cosmetics. <laughs> sweeties, <laughs> do you know, have you been here when I showed you my bunnies on, on a video? <laughs> Um, ever since you've seen my bunnies, Giovanni and Holly, um, we have had two more, which I haven't showed you yet. They're very, very small. They're two months old and I just love, I love bunny rabbits, you know, what can I do? So yeah, so they're babies. I'm going to show you them at some point. Should I show you them right now? I don't know. Should I? I will. Okay, sweeties, <laughs> let me introduce this one to you. So this is Beanie. <laughs> 
<laughs> she is a Holland dwarf, a purebred Holland dwarf, which is so cute. Come look, look closer, closer. <laughs> look at her little face. Isn't she the cutest? So this is a girl and she's totally adorable. Now uh, she's coming with a buddy <laughs> because we bought two. Let's just switch them over. My son is assisting me here. Okay, you take her. <laughs> and there we have Pretzel. Hi, Pretzel. <laughs> he is also a purebred Holland dwarf and gorgeous as can be. He also has this super cute white belly and they're just so, so adorable. Akiba, you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> come, come, so they can see you. Oops. Hi. <laughs> they cannot see your face. <laughs> Okay, so this is my son, Hi. and this is Pretzel and Beanie. <laughs> okay, you're taking them back up? Sure. Can you take both of them? Sure, why not? Try, try. Oh, oh. You know what? Come back for the other one. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so anyway, so Pretzel is going to be with me for a little bit. So let's talk about Lucky Bunny Cosmetics, um, because they came out with a palette. Now, Lucky Bunny Cosmetics, I just found that brand, okay? So this is an Australian brand, and I was just in love with the brand the second I read the name. Now, usually I would think, like in my normal life, before I had bunnies, <laughs> I would think, what, what a silly name. But sweeties, there is nothing better than a lucky bunny and all the bunnies that are in my house are lucky you know so anyway so they're coming out with this palette which actually happens to look absolutely beautiful it's greens and it's rosy neutrals or like um i don't know if it's even rosy neutrals but it sort of leans a little bit towards the rosy tones also and i think this palette looks actually super super gorgeous yeah are you picking up pretzel here okay yeah. take him <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's concentrate back. Back. Uh, <laughs> He's in love with the bunnies too. So anyway, let's concentrate on the palette. I think this is an absolutely beautiful palette and I'm not saying that because I love bunnies. I do love them, but besides that, look at this. This is so, so well done, you know? You have such a nice range between light and dark and it is exceptional. It has exceptional shades in it, you know? And this is, this is gorgeous. So this retails for 35 Australian dollars and I would love to have this. This is a gorgeous palette, absolutely gorgeous, super well done, loving it, absolutely loving it, gorgeous. So that is Lucky Bunny Cosmetics. I will never forget that brand. They also started following me on Instagram, which is, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. I'm flattered, but this, this is just gorgeous, you know? Yeah. So Lucky Bunny Cosmetics, super well done. Another palette that I wanted to point out, which is also a new brand. And I'm actually super, super thrilled because again, that is a super well done palette is the Rosé Kisses palette from Natalie Ann. I think it's Natalie Ann Cosmetics. So this is a new brand, that's why I'm stumbling over the names, <laughs> but Natalie Ann Cosmetics, yes, just checking it twice and this is what it is. So this is how the palette looks and I'm thrilled. This is a super beautiful palette, sweeties. This is the kind of palette that makes you always look beautiful. Palettes like this don't always make you beautiful. They make you look out there. They make you look bold. They make you look, I don't, I don't know, they make you look all kinds of things. They don't necessarily are there to make you beautiful. But a kind of a palette like this will make you beautiful. You know, I just, yeah, that's just what it is. Rosy neutrals, what can I say? That this is, this is just my thing, you know? I love that. If neutrals, then a palette like this. Beautiful, super well done. And this palette, sweeties, is going to retail now only for $15 because it's the release promo promotion. It will be a regular price. It will be $25. Maybe I should get mine. Maybe I should get myself one because really for $15, I might do that once I stop filming. So you will see it if I will. Um, yeah, I don't know because this post was a couple of days ago. So I don't know if the promotion is still on, but I for sure will check. The next thing I need to update you on is Janeth Cosmetics. And we have spoken about that a couple weeks back when we only, I think, again, saw the outer packaging, the one with the 
the, the face, you know, the thing. So anyway, now we see the inside of the palette and this is how it looks. The palette is called All Eyes on You, which is cute. And the inside looks like this. There is, of course, a nice purple. There is pinks. There is orange. There is neutrals. There is a silver and a gold. I think it is a pretty versatile palette for being sort of half neutral and sort of half colorful it's also not of course a super super big palette so but for what it is for 12 shades i think it is really really nice and it is also a color scheme that is not done all the time everywhere you know i kind of like to get everything in a palette but when you don't have a 30 or 40 shadow palette then you cannot do that you have to narrow it down and then i almost prefer it if it is something special a color scheme that is not done everywhere so this is something like that you know this is already life when you're seeing this and I think this is actually really really cute okay the next thing is from Musee Beauty this is also a new brand that I've never heard of and they're coming out with the impressionism palette uh, which looks like this now the outside packaging I think this is now I'm am I gonna embarrass myself if I think this is Monet is this a picture of Monet was he an impressionist I don't know. Sweeties, I'm so, I'm so sorry if I'm completely wrong, but it sort of looks like it could be, right? So anyway, this is the outer packaging and then of course you have the inside of the palette and I think it is, again, a very cute palette. You have the option, of course, to go neutral. You have the option of going in the color scheme of the palette, of the outer packaging. And I think this is a very well executed palette. This is already live when you're seeing this. I think this is cute. I don't have a price and I think it is also a nice thing you know it's a safe theme it's a nice good clean safe theme for me for a person like me um, this just feels good you know it feels good make a palette about all kinds of, of breeds brands sorts of butterflies <laughs> You know, for me, that would be amazing. Or like, yeah, I don't know. Like for me, I don't need to have death and I don't need to have like anything that is, that is edgy. I don't need that at all, you know? So this is nice, really, really liking it. We're moving on to the next thing, which is also a bit of a neon palette. And this is the newest release from Sound Cosmetics. This is the Metamorphosis palette. I'm not 100% sure if I sneak peeked this last week already, or if that was after I had finished filming when I saw the first sneak peek so in case I didn't talk about it so this is the full release of the palette um yeah so this is of course inspired by the evo evo of <laughs> the evolution 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 of butterflies and this is already available when you're seeing this again I think this is a cute palette um I, I'm, I'm not sure what is mattes and what is shimmers it almost looks like it's all mattes from from what I'm seeing here now but then again I think maybe not <laughs> I'm not sure. So this is cute, a cute neony fun palette, especially the, the turquoise and the blue absolutely speak to me. The fuchsia shade, oh, gorgeous, yeah. So that is that. The next thing is from Sparrow Cosmetics. And this is actually the inside of the I'm the Walrus uh, palette. I'm not sure, I'm just including this because I, I know that I spoke about the outer packaging of that whole release and everything. And I'm not sure if I ever got to actually show you the inside of the palette. So this is how she looks. And that is a beautiful palette, sweeties. I love this. This is very, very, very beautiful. I'm super thrilled super thrilled for them to come out with something lovely like this really really gorgeous i don't have a price but this is already live just so you know Okay, we're talking about um, the Makeup Depot USA again. We talked about that already as I think the last thing I talked about last week with the sneak peek of the, I forgot the name, it was the bluish greenish palette and now they're sneak peeking another palette which is the Patron palette um, which is of course bronzy shades, a bit of a red, a bit of a coral orangey kind of leaning situation. So this is how she looks. This is going to launch on June 15th. I don't have a price and a but it is cute. You know, it, it all depends on what you're looking for. Could I rock this palette? Absolutely. Would I want to do that all the time? No, because I really need to have colorful looks, like really colorful looks, more than I want neutral looks. But still, I see that there are like cool taupe shades and like cool leaning um, neutrals also in there. I think it is very, very nice. I also see that there is a lot of depth in the palette, which is nice. Also uh, enough lighter shades. So I'm gonna show you once I have a whole picture of this. I think 
from what I'm seeing now, this is really, really cool. And then the last thing for today, sweeties, which is also a very cute release, is Kick, Kick Me Up Cosmetics. <laughs> Cake Me Up Cosmetics, a new brand, uh, yeah. And they're coming out with the Ain't No Angel palette, uh, which looks like this. This is cute, sweeties. Uh, this is also the size of a palette that I could really, really vibe with. Yeah, and there are five pressed glitters in the palette, which, as you know, I don't mind. And I think the the color scheme and the shades on every like everything looks really really nice to me. You know, I have no complaints. Um, maybe I could have like a lighter green in the palette also, but I don't have to. I can always blend out the green with a yellow or to pull in a bone color matte or whatever. You know, th this is not even an issue for me. So I think this is really really cute. So that is the new Bratz collection. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, I think it's really, really cute. And again, I'm very, very happy that I found a new brand, which is Cake Me Up Cosmetics. <laughs> and maybe next time I won't stumble over the name. I'm so sorry if I'm insulting brands uh, by not seeing their names right or just not remembering them because, sweeties, that is also part of my thing <laughs> that I just, I have the hardest time rem remembering names. And uh, like, it is hard for me, you know, it's just really not in me. <laughs> so much so i hope you can forgive me that and i hope the brands will forgive me but i do love makeup and i'm very very positive about it if you maybe have noticed <laughs> that i'm absolutely burning for this and loving it and it's just my thing you know and i'm when it comes to makeup i'm not a very judgmental person because i do believe and i'm standing behind that with everything i have that i do believe that people are supposed to have and to live their own creativity and do whatever they want. It is on our side to support the brands or not, depending on if we like it or not. But I will not judge the brands except if it's disgusting, like really disgusting, Jeffree Star, then um, then I will say something about it. But besides that, I will not judge the brands for doing what they're doing or telling telling you that this is a useless color scheme or whatever, because that is not what I'm all about. I think that the brands have to live their creative life, as do I, you know? So that's what it is. So let me know what you think about all of that in the comment section down below. Of course, as always, I thank you for spending this time with me. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I would would love to have you here and I'm going to see you here tomorrow for my next video. So up until then, definitely go ahead and sparkle. Hugs and kisses. Bye.